Tesla Powerwalls now have a new competitor from GM, from GM Ultium. Tesla and General Motors rivalry may soon extend beyond electric vehicles and invest driver assist systems. As per recent reports, GM is moving beyond the automotive industry with plans to offer energy storage and management services to residential and business clients through its new division of GM Energy. This should put GM in even more fierce competition with electric automotive maker Tesla. General Motors noted on Tuesday that GM Energy would be building on the company's existing Ultium Charge 360 public charging service with two new units, Ultium Home and Ultium Commercial, to provide clients with stationary storage batteries, solar panels, and hydrogen fuel cells. This is quite similar to Tesla Energy, which has long offered stationary storage and solar products. GM executive Travis Hester, who heads the veteran automaker's EV growth operations, noted that Tesla would be GM's biggest competitor. We're getting into the entire ecosystem of energy management. Our competition in this space on the automaker side is really only Tesla, which is a strong energy management company. There are a lot of analogs you can draw with Tesla, Hester said. Hester noted that GM estimates the overall addressable market for energy storage and management will be between 120 billion and 150 billion, according to a Reuters report. He declined, however, to give GM Energy's expected revenue projections. General Motors seems to be gearing up to start the ramp of GM Energy just as its new electric vehicle offerings are entering the market. Sales and installation for Ultium Home Services are expected to begin in late 2023, around the same time as the expected launch of the Chevrolet Silverado electric vehicle pickup truck for private customers. Ultium Homes residential battery storage units are expected to be similar to Tesla Powerwalls. Ultium Commercial would offer products that are designed for businesses from larger battery packs to microgrids connected to hydrogen fuel cells, similar to, to Tesla Energy's clients. Business who opt for Ultium Commercial should also be able to sell energy back to the grid during periods of high energy use. GM will be teaming up with Sun Power Corporation to provide its clients with solar panels as well. This is a new space for us. We have core competencies in vehicles and batteries in cell chemistry and scale manufacturing. Put that together with our expertise in fuel cells, our dealer network that we've been doing with OnStar and connectivity, and it seems like an obvious step for us, Hester said. What do you think, friends? Let me see uh, your comments. What do you think about GM's move? I think GM is becoming a fierce competitor to Tesla, especially in the electricity energy, in the energy business. Let me know your thoughts, friends. I'll look forward to hearing your comments. Do you know that Toyota RAV4 has a younger brother? It has been updated and is now a plug-in hybrid. Toyota RAV4's younger brother, Toyota Harrier, just got some good news. The local RAV4-related SUV debuts electrified powertrain. Let's see what's under the hood. Toyota Harrier is a compact SUV that the brand sells locally in Japan. And you may not know that it's already completed four generations. The last one was presented in 2020 and this would be its first facelift. The highlight is that the new plug-in hybrid powertrain. With the Toyota RAV4 Harrier shares the GAK platform and in certain features of its exterior, there are certain similarities with the RAV4. That's why it's sometimes called the younger brother of the Toyota RAV4. New for this update, Toyota has made some cosmetic tweaks like a new radiator grille with new mesh lattice. The wheels will also restyle, were also restyled, but the rest of the elements are the same as its predecessor, being characteristic the bulging hood, main headlights in the form of boomerang, high build, uh, belt line, and spoiler on the roof. Inside the new plug in hybrid Harrier, black leather was chosen for the clothing. 
So what's new under the hood? 2020 Toyota Harrier, 2023. So it must be said that the update focus this time is a renewal of the mechanical aspects of the Toyota Harrier, premiering a PHV, um, PHEV plug-in hybrid proportion system. This version arrives to be located at the top of the range. The new set integrates a 177 horsepower 2.5 liter naturally aspired gasoline engine together with a 182 horsepower electric motor that is integrated into the electromechanical variator, adding another 54 horsepower electric motor located on the rear axle. This being the case, the PHEV system delivers a maximum power of 306 horsepower and has an 18.6 kilowatt hour battery that allows autonomy in 100% electric mood of 93 kilometers. That's what? That's a little bit less than 60 miles. Power is sent to all four wheels. In addition, a conventional hybrid version is offered. The leather is, uh, the leather is based on the same 2.5 liter engine equipped with a direct shift CVT variator that can send power to the front wheels or to all four wheels. It is offered with two power levels, 218 and 222 horsepower. At the option of 171 horsepower, 2.0 aspired engine. So do you think it would be great if Toyota brings the this um, PHEV Harrier to the United States just like it sells the RAV4 Prime? I would love to hear your comments, friends. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And thanks for uh, listening and thanks for commenting. Tesla just achieved a new record in Switzerland with Skoda Octavia. Tesla Model Y continues to please with its results occupying top positions in the automotive market in various countries, and Switzerland is one of them. The compact SUV became the best-selling car in Switzerland, with Model 3 became the third best-selling car in the country. Skoda Octavia took the second place. Tesla Model Y took the first place in Switzerland. You know, Switzerland is a beautiful country with amazing landscapes that will take your breath away. Many people dream to visit Switzerland one day. Now, it seems that the locals do not settle for anything less and prefer to have the best in everything. That is why many Swiss people choose Tesla cars, which give pleasure every day. In 2022, the manufacturer's vehicles were particularly popular in Switzerland and September sales figures complete the picture, getting a new record for Switzerland uh, for Tesla in Switzerland. So uh, according to Auto Suisse, uh, uh, the Model Y was the top selling car in Switzerland for the first nine months of 2022. The electric car competed with the most popular petrol cars, most popular gas car models, taking their market share and achieving a high result with 3,314 electric Model Y sold overtook Škoda Avia, uh, Octavia, with, uh, with took, uh, which took another 3,000 or so units. Tesla Model 3 Oslo showed strength with 3,078 vehicles sold, placing third in overall rankings. It is worth noting that Tesla cars are the only electric cars in the top 20, which further underlines the brand's appeal among the Swiss people. Tesla sales in Switzerland for the first nine months of 2022 increased by 52.1% compared to the same period last year. Audi Q3 came number uh, four of with 2,828 uh, vehicles, while Volkswagen Tiguan came number five with 2,703 vehicle sales. It doesn't sound like there is a much range anxiety there in Switzerland, does it? So what do you think about Tesla's new uh, this um, re record in Switzerland taking the top uh, two of three places? Tesla Model Y took the first place, Tesla Model 3 took the third place. The second place was, was taken by... Um, Sweet, uh, Skoda Octavia. Let me know, friends, your thoughts in the comments section below. Good things are apparently coming for Tesla in different markets, getting market share.